500, you can move down a little bit, be 300, 200, 100, but all you have to do, say you want to go to this spot right here, you would draw a straight line here and a straight line here. Find the closest thing to your, to your uh, latitude here and the closest one to your longitude here. And most GPSs have the ability to be able to lock that in if you go to longitude, latitude, and enter your own digits. And you can find that spot there. Because remember the country we were looking at earlier. If you started from the bottom, can you imagine what it must look like above trying to find some of this country? It'd be almost impossible because all you're looking at is timber going up it. You really can't see anything. So by using your GPS to locate spots and then using your GPS to take you into this country, it's a much easier and faster way and, and a good scouting tool as well as a good hunting method. We're going to go ahead now since this is enough of this and we're going to check out some. Here we are in another area. Yep, there's tons of them, aren't there? This particular area is one that we've hunted several times over the years as well. And fortunately, as we moved up in here, there's another spot with snow. If you look up in this basin area here, you can see a pocket of snow right there, once again facing the north. That mountain is facing north. You can see the pocket there. Right below that, there's a beautiful bowl right in there. Real nice basin. A creek runs through the middle of it. From here, you'd think that just looks like a rock face with nothing over there. Now we'll just kind of scan the mountain. We're going to go from the north or from the south toward the north, and he's going to show you a good visual of what this mountain looks like. Uh, again, this is a mountain that Paul and I have hunted for many years, over the years. We have come in and hit elk in there, I would say probably, what, 80, 90% of the time, Paul, we've come on this mountain. So not only is this something to look for, we're trying to show you mountains that we've had success on. Mountains that have held elk, we've killed bulls off of these things, packed them out of there. We've even packed bulls out of here on snowstorm, right during the heart of huge snowstorms going on. So, you know, just giving you an idea, this is the type of country that you want to look for. Once again, in your scouting endeavors, once you get out there, sure you can look at the maps, but it just a lot of times doesn't give you a great visuals like this. And we will show you what this area looks like on the map. Matter of fact, Paul wants to tell you a little story of his area right here. Come on up. And we, uh, we had a what, bull bugling and screaming coming up over here on this one area that I was talking about where the bull was. And uh, Here's tell us kind of what took place right there. I kind of put you right in the spot there where we got into some pretty good action where my dad stayed up on the edge of the hill there. And I ended up after a few minutes of calling, sneaking down in because the bull wouldn't come all the way in. But he was vocal enough. I kept him vocal, so that was good. Yeah, he kept bugling, so I snuck down in there and tried to get closer each time I got in there. And every step I made, I had to make sure that I was being real quiet and sneaking in while he's looking up at, up at the collar. So I ended up getting real close and hiding behind some trees and he ended up poking his head out a few times and I ended up getting within 20 yards of him and he had a couple cows with him and ended up getting a pretty clean shot off so he nice six point yeah, he didn't go real far and and he was bugling his brains story. off at me huh oh yeah second day of the season August 31st <laughs> anyway we're gonna move on